and body piercing. It could be hazardous to your health. Parents of teenagers won't want to miss our UPN News 13 special. Just youthful rebellion or is it mutilation? Robert Kovacic joins us now with a special investigative report. Tony and Bob, you must be wondering, what is happening out there? Uh, yeah. We are. At times have changed. Body piercing, you know, it's, it's hard to look at for some and even harder to understand. From Hollywood to Venice, we went looking for answers and some advice for parents who may be coping with a painful experience. It's like an orgasm. A generation on the cutting edge or over the edge. Branding, scarring, and the most popular, body piercing. Navels, noses, nipples, and nothing we can show you here. Punctures becoming as accepted as the Golden Arches or Dodger Blue. Mothers come in with the daughters picking out their body jewelry. And worn by those some call modern primitives. Dr. Mark D'Antonio heads up the Adolescent Psych Division at UCLA. He says modern primitives reject a society driven by technology. They kind of look for things from past cultures um, and other societies to kind of bring back a humanism. A woman without these ornaments is naked, and for a woman to be naked is to be speechless. Tasha Berg works at The Gauntlet, the national chain for body piercing professionals. 25 years ago, it was just about S&M. Now body piercing is fashion, fad, and for Tasha, freedom. You'll see a guy in a suit and tie, and middle age looks like your dad, and he's got a huge old septum ring. Keith doesn't wear a business suit, but the Lake Arrowhead construction foreman, who's already got his nipples and penis pierced, now wants his septum done and more. My job is really conservative, and uh, it's just, it's the most empowering thing I've ever encountered in my life. I like to think they're useful piercings. They have some sort of use. They feel good. During sex? Sure. During sex, during masturbation, during various things. Jeff's got at least 12 piercings with more coming. She used to be a track star at UCLA. Now she is proud and pierced with parental consent. One, two, three. Perfect. Jeff's mom is getting her ears pierced for the fourth time. As Lynn Welchel agrees with her daughter, piercing is just a rite of passage. I'm very happy that she feels free enough to be able to express herself in this manner. But is piercing a sign of the times or a signal that things are getting out of hand? There are a group of people who do it as a rebellion, um, and then there are a group of people who do it because it's currently in vogue to do it. There's another group of people who do it because it reflects that they're actually very, they have a lot of disturbance, psychiatric disturbance. D'Antonio warns that pierced teenagers may not be expressing themselves, but actually masking a deeper pain. I have had people who have actually been sexually abused or physically abused. I'm concerned if an adolescent is doing body piercing, and especially in genital areas or nipples. Now that's not the case with most teens, but parents on pins and needles should question any sudden interest in piercing. To not ignore it, but to use that as an opportunity to say what this is about, why are you doing it? Well, at least one thing on the side of parents, you have to be at least 18 to get pierced in places like the gauntlet, but that's just about the only regulation in this booming industry. Tomorrow, the health risks and the dangers of getting your body pierced. And Bob and Tawny, if you take the wrong route, mm -hmm. it could be lethal. All right, there's social message going on here, a bit of rebellion, but this is Absolutely. also a very erotic experience for these people. What does it feel like when you actually... Not you, but they, you've obviously talked to people who've had this done. And we were actually in the room with many people that okay. were getting pierced at that and? time, and they said, you know, there's no pain, there's no blood, it's simply euphoria. Someone described it as having warm water just dumped down your body. There's no pain? They say there's no pain. I didn't try it, All right. but I just want you to know, they said there was no pain. We'll take their word for it. All right. All right, still to come on UPN News 13, a terrorist bomb rock. Stories and traditions passed down through the images of the murals will continue to brighten.